Okay, in this video, let's take a look at some basic configuration options for sensors. So I'm going to take this pH sensor that we see right here, and let's go in as if we were a new customer and configure this sensor. So this sensor right now has 328 operating hours on it, uh, but it's been set to factory defaults. So uh, we can go into settings here, and actually make some changes for the sensor. So the first place I usually start is under measurement settings. So um, let's go in there and this is where we make changes, for instance, the name of the sensor. So I'm gonna call this Sarah's sensor. There we go. And let's say we wanted to change the temperature units. We can change that to Fahrenheit. The other thing that sometimes I'll play around with is moving average. So the default value here is two. Um, moving average is an averaging of the pH reading. So Arc Air will read these, the measurement every three seconds. And what moving average does is it takes that reading and it starts to average it out over multiple measurements. So if I have a really noisy process, this can uh, make the reading look much more smooth. So if you're curious about this, you can read more about it in the Arc Air programmer's manual. So it talks about it here in the uh, programmer's manual. And so moving average will smooth out the signal here, show a couple of graphs here of what it can look like. So it does make it a little bit more slow uh, to respond to changes in pH uh, if you have a really quick moving process. But anyways, moving average, um, you can read about it in the programmer's manual here. And it's a good thing to uh, play around with if you're needing to change things. Um, the other thing I'll do in here, uh, milliamp interface, that's usually a good first step for making changes. So I can go into milliamp interfaces and um, my uh, this is where I set up my four to 20 milliamp range. And right now that's set zero to 14. But let's say we wanted to get a little better resolution or make this range a little closer to the average bioprocess. So I might change this from six to nine. And I can click save here. And there we go. And uh, Cirrus sensor up here, I don't know if I click save on it. I guess I didn't. So we'll click save there. And these changes should all be written, written to the sensor. So if I go out here now, I can find my sensor, Cirrus sensor. I can go back in here. And now my changes have been made. So if I go back into settings, I can double check here. And sure enough, I am set for Fahrenheit here. It's labeled as Cirrus sensor. My milliamp interface here is set six to nine. So those are some basic changes that you can do with the sensor. So hope that helps and please let me know if you have questions. Um, changes for um, conductivity, dissolved oxygen, ORP are all found under the same area. Thank you.